Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to make a tiger tail bracelet. You'll need, obviously, some tiger tail. I already cut mine, but I will show you, I'll tell you what you need to cut it. And you'll need two types of pliers, wire cutters and needle nose pliers. You'll need some beads and magnetic closure, it's like this. It's magnetic, so ready? You need crimpies, those are really tiny, so I'm not going to pick them up, And but this is the pack. And you can get bigger ones, like these, pick kind of, like a spacer bead, and a spacer bead is like that. And you could also use these magnetic closures, or it could be silver, or whatever, whatever type of magnetic closure you want, it just has to be magnetic. So that's pretty much it. Let's get started. So this is a tiger tail bracelet. Let's see? And so is this. This is not a tiger tail bracelet, but it is made out of tiger tail. It's an oval pattern bracelet. If you want, I can show you how to make that. And when I put them on my wrist, it, they like kind of go like that. So yeah. So to start, you will cut your tiger tail 14 to 18 inches. I recommend using a bigger amount, like 18. See, this one is 18, so see, there at the 12. Did I say mention a ruler? Well, not sure, but you do need a ruler. So it's 12 and 6, so that's 18. I, I have a very small wrist. My wrist is only 6 inches. But I always like, make my bracelets bigger so they're not tight like that. So, yeah. Now, the first thing you're going to do is you, <coughs> sorry, are going to string on one of your crimp beads to one of the sides. Center it. So we're just kind of take these, put them together, make sure they're center. Now you're going to take half of your magnetic clasp and oops, attach it to your tiger tail or just thread it on. And so make sure this is center. And now you are going to take this end and go the opposite way through the crimp bead. So if your magnetic closure is this way, you are going like this way. So I'm not sure if you could see that super well, but you guys probably get it. And you just want to make sure these are pretty even and you could center them so just like put these together and fix this if needed to so I'm just gonna like pull on this side And then pull my crimp bead, these two strings, I'm just going to pull, okay. So mine aren't very even, but I will just cut that like an inch or two, but that's okay because I have a small wrist and yeah, so. Now we are going to string, well first, before we string on the beads, we are going to crimp, or yeah, crimp your crimp bead. So you're just going to like smash the crimp bead. I hope you guys can see this, and it might be a little hard because you're using a magnetic closure. Because my pliers are magnetic. And it's attracted to that, so let's see here. You're just gonna smash it, 
And if you need to, readjust it. But I don't need to. So, or yeah, I do. Okay. So I think I smashed mine enough and you won't need your pliers right now, so you can put them aside. So now you're just gonna string on your beads. Okay. So I'm using these weird kind of beads. It's like they keep spirits or something away, I don't know. I just found them at Michael's one day and they were so cool. So I wanted them. I was going to use them for like leather pendant necklaces, but I realized they were too small. And if you want me to show you how to make a leather pendant necklace, then just tell me and I will show you how to make a leather pendant necklace. So yeah, those that needs like leather a pendant, beads optional, coil clasp, lobster clasp, and yeah, that's pretty much what you need, so. Okay, so I'm just going to keep stringing on these beads. And you could use any type of beads you want. doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be what I'm using. It could be, um any type of beads <coughs> I'm not going to use that one so. and if you want you could skip over this so you don't have to watch me string on some beads So I'm just kind of doing like the same thing on each side, kind of like what I did with my first ever Tiger Tail bracelet, which I am wearing on my wrist. If you want, you can check it out. It's the first one. So, and if you guys want, I could do a video on my jewelry creations. If you guys want, so I'm not gonna use this one either. I'm trying to make everything equal. I'm not gonna use, oh. yeah, I'm gonna use this one. Sorry if you hear that barking, it's my dog. Very annoying. Told you that in the beginning. I'm just going to check the size of this bracelet. So sorry if I'm wasting your time. You know, I'm only going to put one of these because I have a tiny wrist. Sorry if I'm beating slow. I'll go quicker. Okay, so now that you've shown your beads, you are going to string on your crimp bead and the other half of 
your magnetic clasp. So now you are going to go through the other end of your crimp bead like so. And pull just like pull it down so it's here and just pull okay and now you're going to string these extra wires through some of your beads, like three or four. So I'm going to do three. Just pull. And before you cut those wires, you are going to smash your crimp bead. If you didn't get how I did it in the beginning, then I'll show you again. So, take your crimp, well, your needle nose pliers, and squeeze so the crimp smashes. Squeeze it really hard there. And if you don't really get how to, like, use your wire cutters, I'll show you again. So, well, not really show you, just put that there. And squeeze. Okay. And there you have a basic tiger tail bracelet. It's really cool. It's pretty. This one matches with like everything because it's black and white. So there. And I'm not really sure where my other one went. Oh, here it is. It's that. So here's another one. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you want me to do any more jewelry videos, just comment, so, or if you want me to show you my, like, some of the beads I have and where I get them, that's fine too, or if you want me to show you guys, like, anything related with crafts, like rings, sewing, um, this oval pattern bracelet, um, button bracelets, anything, or just where I get my stuff, and yeah, so thanks for watching, comment, subscribe,